Hello, I'm Richard Lewis from Poor Man's Guides. I write uh, various books, and the, the, one of the, the best sellers is the windmill book, and I get a lot of questions on how to choose a motor for your windmill. And what I did is I wrote a program called DC Motor Analyzer for Windmill Applications. And basically you can put in the, the volts, the amps, the RPM for what it's rated at. You can put your uh, TSR for your blades. Uh, that's the tip speed ratio. Um, normally it's about six, depending on the windmill. Uh, your blade diameter, what size your battery bank is. And uh, basically figure out if that motor is going to work for you. Well, what I've done is I've decided to start looking for motors online and I'm going to release some videos, basically one or two motors every few weeks to give people an idea of what to look for. And here's one. I found Actually, I found two motors on, on surpluscenter.com. And uh, here it is right here. www.surpluscenter.com And here's one motor. It is in, it's actually a gear motor. And it's 160 RPM. It's 90 volts DC. 5.1 amps. And what I do is I put that information into my analyzer. Let's see. 90 volts. And 5.1 amps. And 160 RPMs. Okay, now what we see here, we got a 7 foot blade. The motor would burn up at 229 watts at about 16, 17 miles an hour. Let's up this to 24 volts. And let's decrease the size of the blades. Now let's put it at, let's say about 4.5. 4 Actually, let's go to 48 volts. We'll see what we can do with this. There we go. That's much better. So this motor is really good for a 48 volt battery bank. Uh, roughly a six, let's say a six foot diameter windmill, you'd get 900 over 900 watts max, and 900 watts at 28.5 mile per hour wind. Okay, that's a pretty good motor, and uh, that's if you have a 48 volt battery bank. Now this other motor I looked at, it is. It's a dual voltage, it's 12 or 24. At 24 volts, it's 120 RPMs. And see, it is 10.4 amps at 24 volts. Okay, so let's go 24, 10.4 amps, and we're looking at 120 RPM. And let's change that to 24 volt. And here we are again over 900 watts with a six foot diameter windmill blade set no gearing up needed at all and let's see and that's 28.6 mile per hour winds now you, you could change that to 12 volts and you're looking at changing the, the blade size but you're looking at less than 500 watts and about four point you know somewhere between 4.5 and uh, four foot blade diameter and uh, anyway what you want is try to get it uh, you try to get your the top power uh, your 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 motor limit your generator limit you have to you need to get it in the upper right <clears throat> you don't want to have it down here because basically at 25 miles an hour the, the motor would burn up and you want your furling to start somewhere in this range so you want to start furling and keep producing you know 400 watts or so even as it gets over 30 35 40 miles an hour because the furling is still intact it's, it's actually furled out of the way and not taking direct direct wind uh, but in this case this motor is, is really great for um, about a thousand watts or about 936 is the max and theoretically this motor could go a little higher than that for a few minutes but but if, if you've got sustained winds over over 29 miles an hour it would burn this out so anyway hope that helps and uh, I'll 
I'll check back in a week or two and I'll make some more videos and show a couple more motors. Thanks a lot.